What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and uh, before we actually approach the new year there's one groundbreaking article that I wanted to cover with you dudes that came out recently and of course I want to say a happy new year as well too. The Twitter shit's been crazy lately with, um, with me getting a whole ton of pictures like this one and uh, I think they're fucking hilarious. This one's Pokemon My Dick version and Knuckles featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. You, you can't ask for anything better than that, man. This is classic. <laughs> this is a fucking classic. Of course, I retweeted it, and it got um, 98 thumbs up and 26 retweets, so that's definitely not bad. This shit is hilarious, though. The back has Shrek on it. Uh, excuse me, not Shrek. Shrek on it. And then it has a Red Robin. You know, typical shit for my typical channel. <laughs> this shit is hilarious. The Twitter stuff has been crazy from yesterday, so um, I want to say a big thank you to you guys, and I hope you enjoy the world of Twitter as it is. I can't respond to everybody, but I can do my best. Anyway, so now going on to the article. The article details that Sakurai says that Smash as a competitive game has no future. I already know there's a ton of people that are butthurt by this statement right now, including myself actually, because I find it kind of odd that you would denounce your own game like that in terms of having any kind of future-proof viability due to the fact that it's competitive, you know? So let's, let's read further on though before we jump to conclusions. I didn't read this myself, so this is going to be my first time reaction to seeing what Sakurai has to say about this myself. and. Um, I don't know man, it just seems kind of weird to me that he's so willing to say that the game has no future. That's some bleak shit. What's Daddy Sakurai doing? Why is Daddy Sakurai seem so pessimistic sometimes man? I don't get it, but anyways. So, recently Sakurai has sat down to another interview with a Japanese magazine to talk about DLC, balancing, reasons for including characters, and a bunch of other interesting topics. While we have not been able to translate the entire article as of now, a wonderful user on Reddit named Get In The Robot translated a small portion of the text and posted it to the R Smash Boards Reddit. He does mention he talked about some other game modes and other things, but he strictly translated the parts related to the patches and competitive Smash. We will provide translations for the rest of the piece as soon as possible. As you can read from the title, there are some very interesting statements ahead. And you know, he put three dots there, so you can already tell this one's gonna rock our socks. Put on your seatbelts and prepare for a bumpy ride! Daddy Sakurai, what's going on? What the hell is the story here? Daddy, what's going on? We, you have a beautiful creation, and yet you're, you're denouncing it? All right, I'm jumping to conclusions, but things don't exactly sound like sunshine and rainbows at the end of the road, judging from that entrance into the rest of the article, man. Like, holy shit. What did Sakurai say? Okay, so here we go. Question, do you think you'll be able to spend your next birthday, August 3rd, in peace? Wait, August 3rd. August 3rd, that uh, means, that means Daddy Sakura is a, he's a Leo. Oh, okay. Uh, it's it's kind of funny, I don't really, actually, no, no, no. yeah, yeah, my, my brother was a Leo. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, Daddy Sakura is a Leo, that's cool. But um, anyways, um, he's, so they asked him, do you think you'll be able to spend your next birthday in peace? And Sakura says, I wonder, laughs. I don't know, but I think so. For some reason, I promised to make Mewtwo, and we might have things like patches on the way. We're working hard on it right now, which means that everything we do, everything we make is something we didn't start on until right now. Okay, and what's weird here is that the language Daddy Sakurai uses, man, his vernacular, the way he interacts with people can be so odd sometimes, so confusing sometimes. Look what he said. For some reason, I promised to make Mewtwo. Why would you say that? For some reason, the people wanted Mewtwo. They love Mewtwo. Why are you making it seem as if, uh, for some reason, I decided to do it. Maybe even though I didn't want to, so I mean, whatever. Like, Daddy Sakurai, what's going on? Okay, and a question from a reader. A question about adjusting game balance. What time frame did you have in mind when wanting to start making adjustments that led to the release of the latest patch? And Sakurai said, the idea behind the most recent patch was time to match up with the overseas release of the Wii U version and to make the game a little bit more balanced. I had a small team monitoring the balance and they made some small adjustments using data accumulated from all the online battles worldwide. I had them do research into what kinds of pro problems arose and how those problems should be addressed. Then I had those changes put into practice, refined again. And then I made selections and bought up my own ideas and that cycle repeats. Okay, so typical process of you know determining what's legal and what's not um, another question what are the chances of ongoing patches and Sakurai says in regards to the future I'm completely undecided 
Research on balance has always kept and accumulated, and if we had the manpower, it could always be done. But we don't know if these resources can be acquired. If there was an elegant way this could be done, or if there was an extremely large problem, it could be happened. I mean, it could happen is the general feel for now. Damn, so Sakurai doesn't even have a fucking team! So, alright, so here's what we're analyzing, judging from that, from, from that paragraph that we read so far. That Sakurai is saying, you know, it would be amazing if we were able to constantly put out patches to fix up stuff in the game and to constantly add content to the game. But he's saying, I just don't have the bodies for that. I don't have the mans for that. That's crazy, man. Considering that he's, you know, the, 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 the director of pretty much one of the biggest titles in Nintendo right now. They can't even get some men working on his team, man? Get some bodies over there, man. Daddy Sakurai needs the support. Nintendo, what are you doing? He's basically saying he doesn't have the manpower. He said that specifically right here. And if we had the manpower, it could always be done. So already, Sakurai is getting gimped here because he doesn't have the resources available in order to be able to constantly be on top of this game and provide updates consistently to improve the gaming experience for the veterans and for the newcomers as well. That's kind of unfair in my opinion. Okay, but of course I'm jumping to conclusions because I'm very sensitive about this topic. You know me. Um, anyways, only the most hardcore players would notice. Moreover, in a game where advantage and disadvantage because of the rule, um, I don't think there's a point in trying too hard. I'm always thinking hard to ensure that I don't erase any unique features of a character. So this is why he's not tweaking with the characters too much either. He doesn't want to ruin them, you know? Like, this is why a lot of people were saying, oh, you know, nerf Diddy Kong. But then, what would Diddy Kong be, you know? Sometimes certain characters have certain niche, a certain niche that they work well in, you know? I mean, you may say nerf Diddy Kong because, you know, he has down throw into, um, into up air easy. But, you know, there's other characters who have great combinations like that too, who can easily rack up damage. Like, look at Robin. Arc fire into Levin Sword duel is a guaranteed combo most of the time if you pull it off correctly. I mean, I know it's a little bit easier to get Diddy's combo, but, you know, Something like that is sort of unique to the character. That's why I'm not exactly, I'm not exactly intent on a Diddy ban anymore. I don't think it. Well, I never was really, but I mean, I don't think it's necessary, um, or even a Diddy patch. Uh, anyways, now another question: There are people who play very seriously in grand finals for tournaments, and there are people who are just happy to see their favorite character in the game. How do you feel about that? And here we're getting into some sensitive territory. People might just be winding up getting butt hurt over here. So be careful, tread lightly as I continue to read this. Even though I'm probably not. If people want to play seriously one versus one, they should do that. And if people simply want to enjoy the game, they should do so. There might even be people who, like, who only like to play with their amiibo. I think it's good that there are so many different ways to enjoy this game. Um, and then the question continues. So then, this is good. But then, we have this whole paragraph of text that's bolded and highlighted, which means Sakurai says some shit. And then Sakurai continues onward. Mm, personally, I feel that if you want to play a fighting game seriously, there are other competitive fighting games that are more suited to that. And people like that could have fun playing those. If you play Smash Brothers seriously as a competitive game, the game itself has no future. Holy shit! If I wanted to, I'm sure I could make a much more hardcore Smash Brothers game. I can make the game speed much faster, increase the number of inputs, but then beginners would no longer be able to play the game. When the speed becomes more like a sport, a tool that more strictly rewards the player with more skill, the game tapers off more, like a mountain. Just like how a mountain tapers off into its peak, that area becomes more and more narrow. Whew! Let's continue reading. So only those who desire to reach the top remain. And yeah, there are lots of games out there like that. If we downgraded the game to make it more spectator friendly, that wouldn't be a bad thing. He said that would be a bad thing. If we downgraded the game to make it more spectator friendly, that would be a bad thing. Smash needs to be a game that new players can play. Some level of technical skill may be necessary, but if you just try and move your character around a bit, that's the important bit. We do show the results of battle, but everyone just mashes A, right? To move on. To keep going, making people feel this is way this way is more important. Holy shit! Wow, that's deep, man. Question: I'll admit, regardless of whether I win or lose, I always think just one more. Sakurai says, "I fought and I lost. These results and suffering from painful feelings is how the user base shrinks, and we want to avoid that with Smash. In that sense, Smash has many elements that are rather ambiguous and nebulous in regards to competition." 
translator mentioned that Sakurai used a strange verb here in a way that he'd never seen or read before. He thought it implied that making the game more spectator friendly was a downgrade, but he isn't entirely certain. If you would like to see the article in its entirety and maybe provide a translation of the rest of the article for people to read, we have linked pictures of the rest of the article below. Wow. Whew. That is... Wow. Wait a minute. Uh, and that, and Okay, so from what we saw of that article, it seems as if Sakurai has a very... He has a very open-minded approach to Smash Brothers, in the sense that he understands that there is a technical, there is a technical aspect to the game, which adds on the thrill of playing it competitively, which is understandable for a lot of people who are in the competitive scene. There, there is a lot of input in Smash 3DS that does require some skill to use, which would raise the player skill cap above a certain point to where you will be able to defeat players in a certain you know range if you do know tech from a higher skill point but i mean to be honest guys with the way sakurai described the whole thing about the mountain peak and how if you make a game more fast and more competitive that beginners can't get into it it kind of like tapers towards the top i think he's 100 percent correct how many of you guys are intimidated by melee me I mean, how many of you guys are intimidated by Project M even? Me. I'm not saying these are bad games in the slightest. Melee is a fucking classic, and the game that got me into Smash in the first place. And Project M is one of the most entertaining games I've ever played in a lazy day in my life, before Smash 3DS came out. But the problem with these games is that they're not beginner friendly. They simply are not. As much as you want to argue that they are, Sakurai has a point. Maybe for sympathy or <laughs> friend, what the hell? He has a goddamn point, man. Daddy Sakurai, competitive players won't like these statements, but you're right. You're absolutely right. These games are not really beginner friendly. I don't even want to get into Melee and Project Game myself, simply because look at the fucking input skill that you need in order to be somewhat, you know, competitive in the game. Smash 3DS and Wii U is amazing because anyone can pick it up and, you know, they don't have to fucking train for two years in order to get somewhat viable. Yet there's still a very significant skill cap in the game, which means that, you know, like, for example, I played the game really seriously. I played 3DS version really seriously, and I think I'm pretty damn good. I'm not the best out there, but I damn sure am viable. There's certain people I can wipe the floor with who also are playing the game a lot too, but I can get my ass murked. I got my ass destroyed by Nairo the other day. Nairo gave me the worst ass whooping I've ever gotten in my Smash Brothers career, dude. And even worse than Dill at Nebulous. And it's like, you know, whoa, I didn't realize that the skill cap in this game is, is so, it's, my, it's much larger than I thought it was. To do pivots, to do, to do, um, to be, to do pivots in the first place are just such a difficult input. To tech is a really difficult input to learn if you aren't used to it beforehand. And I'm not used to Smash Brothers beforehand, you know? You guys already know. I didn't play Smash competitive, or at least try to play competitive, until Smash 3DS and Wii U. And this is why I love these games the most out of all of them, because they're extremely beginner friendly. There's no crazy ass input, like no wave dashing, L canceling, all that crazy shit, which is cool for Melee and PM, but it just adds a certain level of dread to new players who are trying to get into these games, because it means that now, you know for a fact that you're, you're just, why even bother? Why should I even, why even bother with the game if it requires so much difficult input which people who have been playing for years are masters at and you know you'll never ever get close to them at all? Is it even worth the time invested? But with Smash 3DS and Wii U, it's more of a friendly game where you feel like you can pick it up and enjoy it thoroughly without having to spend eons in the gym training or, you know, breaking your fingers off trying to figure out L-canceling or wave dashing. It's, it's, it's a much more beginner friendly alternative to getting competitive because there are a lot of beginners who want to get into competitive play with a lot of these games. Like myself, I wasn't competitive in Smash beforehand, but after 3DS and Wii U were announced, I said to myself, you know what, I'm a beginner, but I'm gonna get competitive. I wanna get into the game, I wanna become viable in the game, or at least give my friends a challenge whenever they come through, because that's what it's about, man. But if you make that skill cap too fucking high, people aren't going to wanna play your game, man. And that's why I agree with him. What I don't agree with, however, that Daddy Sakurai said, is that the game has no competitive future. I don't know. Maybe there was a bad translation there or something, because I don't see I don't see how that makes any sense. And also, I don't like the fact that he downplayed 
us trying to play this game for competitive joy because it's not only the competitive nature of the game that makes people want to play it competitive but it's also the fact of seeing their favorite characters from Nintendo franchises in a competitive fashion you know I mean that's the main reason why I like the game the fact that I can see Fox Falco that I can see Mario and Luigi and all of them pulling off some crazy maneuvers and kicking ass like that in tournaments that's the main draw of Smash to me seeing all these lovable characters put into a place where they look like they can kick ass and considering Nintendo doesn't exactly have a all the violent games in the world it's kind of a nice little alternative that's why I love Smash Brothers but I mean I guess Sakurai has his own point of view whatever the case may be I feel like this game's competitive future is strong because it's allowing beginners to not be overwhelmed or intimidated by all these crazy techs from having too high of a skill ceiling I like it I love Smash 3DS and Wii U and um, I agree with a lot of the points Sakurai said, but a few of them I don't but what is your opinion on this whole thing do you feel Smash Brothers has a competitive future do you feel Smash Bros. 3DS and Wii U is a ruined game because it doesn't have as high of a skill ceiling as Melee and PM? I need to know your opinions on this whole thing. Am I an idiot or am I making some kind of sense? Let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves and of course as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.